Hello nerds and nerds, my name is Phoenix and today we're looking at Empyrean, we're back in the game I'm going to exploring our base, improving it and building a little bit better For now our jobs in here is to place generator, place the fuel tank and place the large constructor So that's things we have to focus on first from here So let's go to our blocks in here and find our machines that we need In order to build constructor We need we have actually everything in here that we need for a large constructor, so we're going to build one and we're going to build one of those. We're going to build the fuel tank and we need a small generator that needs require reactor core. So we're going to find how to make a reactor core. Reactor core requires some motors, pipes, cables and everything else. We're going to throw one of those and hopefully we have enough materials to build it. Take the wire. So we have to kind of get used to the fact that it takes a, takes a while But the part of that is going fine Okay, we have generator built, awesome We actually have reactor core in here, so we don't need that But we need this Small generator, fuel tank and everything else will be awesome Fantastic I'm quite happy with that Takes a while still in this machine, even though on the maximum settings It will still take a little bit of time We have to defend our base from drones, so we never activate your base at night time You want to activate it at daytime, so you have a lot of time to defend yourself if you have to Small generator is here, fantastic, okay, let's run to our base And we'll see what we can build so I would like this to be my main crafting room in here That's what we're going to be using, so let's focus on it We're going to go into tab, move this away for now And place our machine, we have generator Fuel tank And a large constructor and So let's figure it out, generator first It's actually quite big Let's have a large constructor in here, so we can actually build it It's quite, quite a bit, quite a big machine Okay, let's figure out the best way to place it, now the moment is upside down, so let's Don't mess with it too much Okay, that looks better, look at that, we have now the machine nicely placed And that will work quite nicely, from here we can actually build everything we need And I'm quite okay with that what we want next is our generator or even the fuel tank. So we're going to throw the fuel tank in here. That will work. And our generator. Generator is quite big. I would like to turn it around. And we could squash it like this. Would that work? I think it will. I don't have to access generator. Just have to access fuel tank. That will place our battery in. Definitely our power packs will go in here. Okay, we have everything ready. We need to now activate the base. But before we do that, I want to move all my items to this thing in here for now. Few steel plates, few cables. We're going to go run to my main machine down there and pick up everything from here that we need so let's grab that okay, I feel like everything that had to be moved is moved into this machine now when we press it, it has actually quite, quite bigger storage, so that's good it offers me much more components to build as well from as you can see in here there is way more things to build which I'm impressed with we definitely want to build quite a few things Mostly a turret will be for our defenses, and that's something I want to focus the most So let's see where the turret is Okay, turrets are in the weapons We have motors and cables required for that, and metal components and electronics Everything in here is nicely powered I don't need five I want three turrets going I will build everything for me, and hopefully that will work okay what they want me to do as well is to activate the base. The moment I activate the base, we'll be attacked by monsters, by the drones. But I feel like we should be able to do it soon. 
It's quite funny that it can actually work without being activated, but hey, it does. Also requires ammunition. Magazine capacity and it requires 33mm bullets. We should probably build a few of those. So okay, we have that running. I will just wait for my towers to be done and eventually we'll place them. So as I was saying before, we're going to go in here and place three turrets. One in here, one in here, and one in here. Hopefully that will protect us well enough from any danger that can come our way. Especially that the, all the drones will be coming mostly from this direction. So yeah, yeah, we should be fine. The turret should protect us. Maybe it's not ideally placed. Maybe it should be kind of facing that way our base, but I think that will work nevertheless. Quite okay. How are we doing in here? Turret number two is being built. Then it's going to be third turret and then some ammunition being built for it. Okay, as it's building the last turret, we're going to go and try to place this one in here. Alright, I think that's a good location for a turret. Look at that. Works quite fine. Let me just go to empty hand so you can actually look at it. Yeah, it actually looks quite nice. I like it the way it looks. Okay, so I have one turret. Turret number two will go in here. That's exactly where we're going to place it. Is that correct or not? Yes, look at that. Turret number two. Turret number three will go in here potentially. Maybe I don't need it. Maybe I don't need three turrets. Maybe the two two turrets will do the job for us. We'll see. Yeah, let's cancel that. We'll just leave with two turrets for now. So what do we need to craft for it? And how many bullets do I get from one piece of that? And we got 25 bullets, so I don't need f I don't need 40 then. We need much less. We need probably what 10. So we have 250 each, 125 per turret, should be more than enough to defend our base. And then we're going to activate our base and hopefully we can defend ourselves quite okay. But if we have to, we'll fight the monsters as well, so we'll see. Okay, our ammunition is ready, let's place in the turrets, let's see how we can access them as well. Just press F, I do. I think I need to place the ammunition box on the base itself in order to do so. I think that's, the, that's what we have to do in here first. Let's go build the ammunition box. Alright, we have ammunition box ready. Let's go and throw it. And we should probably place it somewhere. I think here is not a bad location for our ammunition box, so let's do that. I'm pretty sure they don't have to be directly related to turrets, they just have to be on the base itself. Well, we'll throw it here, that's fine. Ammunition box, you can have this ammunition. 30 millimeter bullets, that's fine. Let's access our turrets. I can either use directly if I want to. Yeah, look at that. They work nice. So that's one turret. We're going to reload the other one. And how many bullets can we store? 35 out of 130. We're doing fine. Have enough. Yeah, yeah, that will work quite fine. Alright then, let's go and activate this base and let's see what happens. So we're going to press P on the base. We want to activate everything. Base is activated. Okay, add turrets and ammo, we've done that. Add oxygen and food production. We kind of done that as well. It tells me that I should do it, but we've done it already. My turrets are working. We need to select the turrets though and tell them what to target. I wanted to target aliens only and not predators. I don't want it to shoot at anything else but aliens. And I feel like that should work quite fine. The drones should attack us anytime now, but at the moment it appears that we're doing fine. So these few things here are done. See what I will do, I will drop most of my items 
we're going to build a cargo box as well. We need a cargo box in here. Let's throw that and build a cargo box of ourselves. Core cargo box. We want one of those. All right, we have cargo box ready. Let's place it as well. Possibly next to ammunition or even in here. Let's just spin it around so I actually look at it properly like this. In the cargo box I can actually store pretty much all my junks that I have in here. So we're going to store the motorcycle, everything in there. So let's throw all that part of my fridge that I want out. Motorcycle I want out. And we'll have that sorted. Okay, we're going to place the fridges first. So we can start storing food if we get any. And we're going to explore this building that we've been looking at. I would like my fridge in this corner. Awesome, the fridge is working. And we would like, would like our food processing station next to the fridge. So in this machine we can cook more variety of food, which is great. So as you can see we can do that. Okay, let's go to our storage. We're going to get rid of metal pieces as well. I don't think we should be using flatten tool or any drills for that matter. So we're going to take the pistol with us and the flashlight. Okay, I killed a few aliens in here as well. Before we go and attack anybody, I wanted to make sure that we actually have some food supply. Because I was getting hungry in here and we really need to eat before we actually do anything big like that. So let's go to our base. Reasonably quick. We'll go inside here. Probably build a few lamps. So let's build a few internal lamps so we can actually have some sort of lighting system in here. Just one lamp. Let's see, that's the lamp I want. I'm going to throw a lamp. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. I'm going to throw one here. Oh, not too bad, not too bad with the lamp. We could do with two lamps per room, so let's go build extra three. Three lamps, one, one, two, three. Fantastic. I love it that this machine now builds everything for me. I don't have to physically build all the little materials. I can just click on what I want and it builds it for me. As you can see, it's working quite nicely. I'm going to set the clone chamber as well, so it spawns me inside the base. If I die, I will be transported back to the base, so I don't have to worry too much about losing items. Especially that I don't lose too much. A lot of items needed, but that's fine. We're going to, do, we're going to place the lamps in our base, so we can actually see what we're doing in here. So one in here, I feel like the other one could go on this wall and it will be fine. Yeah, we'll throw it there. That should keep us nice and simple in here. Want some lightning in this room. I think we'll have to have one on the floor by the looks of it. Oh no, one will work there. Is that enough light? I don't know, it doesn't look like much. We'll have one here on the floor, that's fine. That is actually working quite okay. Quite bright. Alright, I gotta have some food, so let's deal with the food sources that we have in here. We're going to throw my meat and alien parts and see what we can build. Ribs requires raw meat or steak. Grilled steak, salami is nice for trips out, has a good perish time. It actually brings quite nice food. Okay, the drones are attacking. Okay, the drones are actually coming. Let's get ready. Can't really see much, but they are in front of us. It's getting closer. I'm hoping my turrets will work. The drone is there. Come on, turrets. Yes. Nice, minigun turret. Are they actually working? They're not doing too badly. But I think they run out of ammunition or have they shot it down? 
They did shoot it down. Well done. Well done to Reds. Okay, so the fences worked. The fences work nicely. Look at that. Drone came in. We defended ourselves and everything is great. Let's grab all that because it's always handy. Run the base and I'm actually quite happy with that. Okay, so here we are. Yes, the fences worked. The drone is still there, visible, but it's dead, really, so we're not shooting at it anymore. I have a bit of ammunition, but I feel like we should make more. Because whatever we have in the box, it... oh, now we have a bit. A bit left, that will last us for a while. Let's throw them items away that I got here. So whatever we gather from here, we're going to throw it there. Alright, our fridges, we have our salami ready, we're going to grab one or two of those. Oops, sorry. We got crazy there for a minute. Three bites of salami will do for us. We're going to keep two on uh, two of those on us at all times, so we have enough food to go get us going. And we also need a few of them oxygen bottles as well in our inventory that I have now. I'm going to consume them now, eventually we have to expand our base for some other items in here that will provide us with oxygen. Okay, here we are. I think that we are ready to storm the base and that's exactly what we're going to be doing in the next episode, guys. For now I'm going to finish in here. We have food supply set up. We have our respawn point set up in here, outside of our base. We have our initial base set up and we have ammunition and everything going nicely. You can still access my storage tank. I can still access my storage tank and we have plenty of power there, so we're doing great for power as well. So overall, I think everything is working great and I'm really impressed with that. Alright, I'm going to finish the episode in here guys. Thank you everybody for watching and I shall see you guys next time. Take care.